Now listening to the In My Opinion podcast, the home of edutainment, brought to you by Sakali, DTM, and Uzuma. So get your drinks, snacks, relax, and enjoy. All right, so now we're going to move into the main topic. It's just talking about you, man. Your success as a businessman. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You, you've mentioned small, small <laughs> accolades. Yeah. accolades. But talk to us about your journey, your career journey from the beginning. Yeah, my career journey has been interesting. Um, so started, well, I went to uni, left uni. Luckily, the first job I got was to work for MTV um, hey. or Viacom. So and under Viacom, Viacom it has like yeah. MTV, Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, wow. etc. Yes. How did you get that? As a black guy, I wouldn't... Networking. I didn't know that. No, it's not even networking. I, I applied for it. Mm. And you know when you just sometimes you apply for stuff, you don't even know who's going to get it. And yeah. then I remember I got a call and it's like, oh, hello, um, my name is... I can't remember the person's name. My name is X. Um, I'm calling from MTV. I was like, huh? Hmm? Then obviously I was like, oh, they said we liked your applications and stuff like that. But the thing is, what I do in my applications when I was applying for jobs is that I obviously made sure that my skill set was like, I really like talked about my skill set kind of thing. Mm. And I feel sometimes, especially as black people, we are humble about mm. what we do. Mm. Not to lie, <laughs> but mm. I think it's just like, like try and utilize your skill set. And I think I was lucky because obviously I did um, valedictorian at my uni. I was a future uh, leaders list. Mm. So I had all of those accolades already. Yeah. And I think yeah, I knew about that before, like going to the job market is going to be competitive. Very. Like what things can you add in it? And then obviously mm. for my dad from a very young age, he was like, as black people, you have to work twice as hard, innit? Mm. And that thing that was drilled into me. So I was, I was like, when I go into the job market, I was like, what can I add to my bow that will make me a little bit different from from everyone else? And mm. obviously applied for MTV, great, great experience, worked with like so many different like brands. And I think it was good because in uni you enjoy, mm. even though they give you like work hype set, you enjoy and you come into a corporate environment. But Luckily, it wasn't like a bank that everything was like, you have to wear suits or stuff like that. Mm. Calm environment, like got to learn a lot, like creative, business, commercial, all of that kind of thing. And the crazy thing is, I only really realized this recently. My first, um, like when I was at MTV, I used to do something like called consumer products. Okay. Um, and, and in consumer products, what you do essentially is, obviously we have all of these big IPs with like MTV or like SpongeBob or Power Rangers, stuff like that. And essentially this department would go out and monetize the IP. Oh. So you'll see these things in like plates, bags, yeah. pens, all of those wow. kind of things. And it's obviously funny that that's what I do pretty much right now, that like mm, in product in it. So the proper full circuit from like starting off at MTV, doing consumer products, and then now doing products like with celebrities. Mm. So I did that for a few years. Um, and then I went to a sports agency where I was working with like high profile, like athletes, footballers and stuff like that. And again, I was like doing like commercial deals for them. So the agents would go and do like the boot deals, the club deals, and I would go and do like sponsorship deals or do like TV deals mm. and stuff like that. Um, mm. So did that for a few years, amazing time, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, amazing imagine. time looking at footballers Sick. and obviously you're in clubs, restaurants, everyone's talking footballers and it was it was it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Obviously not something you can live for all your life, but it was it was a good time. And I think it really opened my eyes to to like the world because how I got that job was through Twitter, actually. Oh. Yeah, so there was a guy that I I looked up to um, and I would message him on Twitter, Twitter, like message him to him, I was like, oh bro, like this is what I'm doing, like, I would love to work for you. Cause there was obviously there was no like yeah. job balls or nothing for it. Yeah. And then obviously ignored, like I got ignored probably like 10 times. Like mm. but I was like, you know, I'm just still like, he's busy. Still message. And I remember there was one Sunday that um, I messaged him. I, in my head, I was thinking, oh, it's a Sunday. He's probably got no emails. Yeah. And I just message him. He messaged, he replied back in like an hour. And he said, meet me at um, <laughs> Playboy Club in Mayfair. Gee, yeah. I mean, I'll be there, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. But wow. obviously, you think Playboy, you think, bro, like, what's he what's trying to tell you? He's trying to tell you. 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 He's trying to Mayfair, and obviously, I've never been to like any of that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've kind of really been in Mayfair, whatever. And obviously, the private members club going, bro. My eyes open, bro. I was like, wait, a black guy. I was like, what is this? What how people live? Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm from South. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. see where you're in South, and then you go to some like nice restaurant. Oh, at the time, like TGI. Oh, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, but that's nice, isn't it? And then I went down. I was like, wait, what is this life that people are living? Like, it was all of these like you could tell, obviously, like Arab people, like footballers there. He was there. Obviously, he's not. Playboy's club is just like, it's basically a, a club, but obviously you have 
bunnies and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. But bro, my eyes opened. I was like, wait, this is what... And even I worked at MTV, I didn't even experience stuff like this, but mm. I was like, is this what people are living? Mm. And it opened my eyes. And I, that's one thing I say to like people, especially from the hood and whatnot. Like, like sometimes go out of your environment mm. and see what the world is like. Because it really opened my eyes in terms of like what's out there. And obviously mm. seeing a black successful man, man, because obviously my idea of success for a black man was like, the Jay-Z's. Yeah. Yeah. The Jay-Z's and all of that kind of thing. And there was no one like really in the UK that I saw that was like successful apart from like footballers or musicians and stuff like yeah, that. But yeah. to see a black entrepreneur doing sick, bro, it was mm. like, it was mental to me. And I was like, oh, you know, I really want to learn from you in this, in this period. And um, so there I was there for a couple of years and then started a label called Black Diamond. Mm. Um, again, just like- Is that like, what, like, like a music label? Yeah, music label. Yeah. So essentially did all right there, made a bit of money. And my thing was like, oh, I want to put money into artists from an early age and then work with a label to obviously upstream it. Okay. Um, and then at the time we were lucky because Spotify was emerging yeah. at the time. Mm. And there was obviously like a trick to do. So basically the play, the play was to release tracks and then get it on like the biggest playlist at the time. Yeah. Oh, and right, the thing right. is, obviously now playlists are big, a big, big, thing, big yeah. but at that time when Spotify was early, everyone's trying to figure it out. But I was figuring out that if you're, because obviously you have to remember that people's consumption of music, because everyone says they want every music ever, yeah. but actually human beings don't want choice. They want too much choice. Mm -hmm. They want a like a curated thing. And mm -hmm. you're thinking the consumer behavior was like radio. So you listen to radio and it'll curate your thing or you would get those CDs where Club promoters will play it. Yeah. Get it curated, isn't it? So Spotify was smart to like, let's curate these playlists so that people can join these or people listen to this playlist rather than having to look for their favorite artists everywhere. They can mm. get like a list of artists or whatever. Yeah. And the thing is, is like at the time, is like if you was at the top three of like songs, you're bound to get like millions of like yeah. kind of things. So obviously I clocked that on very early and obviously we're releasing music, making sure that it was at that top of things because obviously you had to get contact at Spotify and stuff like that. And at the time, not everyone was going to Spotify like they were before. Okay. Um, and we clocked that very early on and then obviously plays, we are getting like plays and then labels started to come in and said, oh, we want to like work with you and we want to give you a labor imprint. We got like offers from like Universal, Warner. Wow. Um, and Sony, and then obviously I think at the time we spoke to like Max Lusada, who was the CEO at Warner. And I think I just loved the way he thought about things because one of the things he said to me at the time, and obviously it's something that's prevalent now, but he was like, there's obviously this thing at the time called attention economy. Mm -hmm. And music's not only fighting other, mu like other musicians, but you're fighting for the attention of like, at the time it was called Musical.ly. It's now TikTok now. Oh, musically yeah, 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 yeah. and Instagram. And you're basically fighting against the attention of people going on those stuff. And it was like, wow, like, and my thing was like, I can learn a lot from this this guy and it's just the way he mm. thinks. So we did that year for like three years, um, exited that business in 2020, which obviously was a mad time for everyone. Yeah. And then obviously the idea of CCV, CV came in. Yeah. CCV was, essentially CCV is a venture builder. So we work with celebrities to launch CPG brands across um, food and beverages, um, health and wellness, health and wellness, personal care and beauty and apparel. And uh, the first brand we launched was Nala's Baby Nala's with Crepe Sasha, yeah. which has done amazingly well. And then we launched really? a brand called Sips with H um, recently. And it, it was two reasons why CCV was formed. One obviously emotional and one was like professional. The first one was obviously at, um, in 2020, my brother passed away, my little brother passed away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, um, sorry thank you, man. Sorry. I think that, Obviously, I know, like, we was talking about the 87-year-old, and obviously, you can look at her and go, oh, you know what? She lived a long life. But I mm -hmm. think when your brother, who's younger than you, dies at 25, mm. it's like a thing was like, it, it doesn't make sense to you. It's like, what mm. the hell? Like, we're meant to live. And I think we have this notion that we have to live to, like, 70, 80, 90. Mm. We have mm. this right to have it. Mm. And I was mm. like, that's how I felt. I was like, he has this right to, have to live to that long, and he didn't. And it really... I call it like it took me out of the matrix a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think we live in this world and sometimes you could be an autopilot, but I think when someone dies, it makes you really think like, wow, mm. like life is so fragile. Mm. And I think my thing was like always like, if I was to die tomorrow, like what impact would I have? And I think me being like a label owner, for me, ego wise, it's great because everyone sees you, you're a label owner, or whatever. But then what is like, what impact am I really doing in the world? Is like on my tombstone, do I want to just say, oh, David Label? And I was like, no, that's that. It's all fickle kind of thing. Mm. So my thing was like, I wanted to make an impact in the world in some shape or form. It didn't have to be like building schools or whatever, but just what kind of impact. And then 
also I saw the emergence of celebrities launching brands and obviously I've done it for all my life and brands were obviously Gymshark is a great example where they've obviously used people who've got great influences and made obviously the company's worth multiple billions yeah. but the celebrity or the um, influencer who they use don't really get the back end of it mm. you might get like 100k up front um, but the brand's making millions of pounds in terms of brand awareness brand sentiment impressions all of that kind of thing and none of the celebrities get it and I remember there was two things that I saw one was Rihanna and LVMH mm. yeah. brilliant thing where Rihanna well I don't know who had the idea but Rihanna saw a gap in the market in terms of like creating a product for um women yeah. A, yeah, a brown 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 mm. dark-skinned women mm. kind of thing because no one else was doing it and obviously had the support of lbm h to help her to That's do it like it, amazing yeah. kind of thing mm -hmm. and then um dr dre and jimmy Iovine sold beats to, to apple, apple, music. apple yeah. music yeah and i was like oh this is amazing like americans they're so sick at what they do mm. but no one in the uk really did that no one mm. in the uk had a company that actually worked with celebrities and built brands like all the celebrities that i was working with or i knew we're doing like these brand partnerships with deals with like energy drinks or doing merch and stuff like yeah. that and, and the thing with merch is that how i see merch is merch is a validation of i'm a fan of this artist mm -hmm. but the value that the merch is given to the consumer isn't that great it's a small value very small. because obviously like if you do a t-shirt or whatever like you've some people had merch and it's terrible well, I wanted to obviously change that way. It was like, the value we give to consumer is huge. Mm. Um, but it so happens to be owned by a celebrity because they bring like the social currency and they yeah. obviously bring the storytelling of it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. Like yeah. work with celebrities across the UK and US. Um, and then we build brands, but authentic brands that essentially enrich the lives of consumers. Um, and that's a big thing for us. That's the impact thing where, as you see with Nala's, you can see like how much impact it's had in terms of like mm. mothers and baby yeah. and kids' lives. And every product we create, we essentially want to want to do that. And even with Sips, um, we created a, a flavor sparkling water brand where um, zero sugar, zero calories, but tastes amazing. And when we did our research, it's crazy. Like I, I love drinking water. Yeah. Mm. But when you look younger ages, a lot of them hate drinking water. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hate it. Yeah. Mad. But it sounds yeah. mad to me when yeah. I hear it. Some people yeah. tell you they don't drink water. Yeah. I've seen it on TikTok. Because I thought you got to drink water to stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad. It's crazy. Yeah, nah. And a lot of them are drinking these fizzy drinks and whatnot. And I was like, mm. and we were like together, like even with H, he, he loves fizzy drinks. And he was like, obviously he goes on tour. So even when he's on tour, he needs to be healthy and he needs yeah. to like reduce like sugar and whatever. It was like, oh, we need to create a brand where it's got amazing taste. So that's the main thing because you can't create a brand that people don't like and because they, yeah. they're not only going to change their consumer behavior but also hasn't got all the rubbish that a lot of the fizzy drinks have like mm. so that's why we had to make sure it's zero sugar zero calories but taste taste amazing and again it's one of the things where you can swap your whatever brands all these major brands don't want to say their names yeah yeah like a sip. Sip. yeah so how have you managed to get it to taste nice is there is it like I don't want to draw you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the replacement for the rubbish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To still get the same. Yeah, is outcome? it still like natural flavorings and stuff like that? Mm. There's some like flavorings. Okay. Um, we obviously try to make it um, so it doesn't have like severe like ingredients or stuff like okay. that itself. Yeah. We obviously a good the big part of what we do is like product development is key. Mm. Um, it took us a long time to get to a place where we got the right flavoring because you're testing your thing and it's it's very hard you might it, obviously we've got the product but it's very hard to get a product that tastes amazing but without adding yeah yeah yeah, it's, 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 yeah. It's I tough. hear it yeah, yeah. No, so, so i was gonna ask like in terms of like obviously looking at nala baby yeah. and sips as well and stuff it sounds to me like you're very involved from the idea stage mm, yeah. and then all the development and yeah. everything like that so like can you maybe go into some specific in terms of what you guys actually what what you offer like in terms of to, to the start to the finish yeah. product to the finish so i think for us obviously we have those four verticals that i mentioned before mm. and i think the celebrity will come up with like i want to do something in beverages and they have like a pain point that's the main thing they have a mm. pain point okay um so obviously with um crept and sashi was like they wanted to find a product um for the for the the little one nala but there was no natural product out there in the market that was affordable mm. um or on retail like a lot of the products you'll find on like these black indian shops kind of thing of and like 20 pounds whatever mm. which obviously you could do it first time but then to keep constantly do it is like quite expensive mm. so yeah, obviously you wanted to create a product that was very natural but also affordable for people to um to use and then with with, with h he obviously had it 
issue where he was drinking a lot of like fizzy drinks, but he wanted to like carb it and do something a little yeah. bit like like more healthy. healthier. So I think for us, it's like, what is that problem, that issue? Like, how are we solving an issue and mm. doing it in the best possible way? So we go through that with, with them. And I think one thing is like, with them, we tell them that owning a business is not the same as just obviously what you've done before. Like owning a business, ups and downs, there's things that might work, there are things that might work, but... Mm. In this journey, if we get it right, it will do really, really well. So we go through that process where it's like um, finding out what the product is with them. And because it has to be authentic to them, we don't want to just give them a product and then go and do it. It mm -hmm. has to be something authentic that they really have a pain point to. Then once we do that, we start doing like the product development, brand development in terms of like finding where's the product and finding like going into the market and go like, what's new? Like, where can we innovate? Because I think for us, we don't want to just create another water brand that's just out there. There's no, it makes no sense because there's no like USP mm -hmm. to, compared to us. Wow. Um, and then as we go for that product and brand development where we create the product, create the brand. Um, and then obviously we start putting like the go-to-market strategy. We obviously, with our brands, we usually look for like a retailer that we're gonna work with. Cause I think distribution is a key, key thing to key. what we're doing. Because yeah, yeah. if Crept released Nala's Baby and just said you could buy it on nalasbaby.com, it, it, I don't think it would have had the impact it had. Oh, but him yeah. saying we're in 400 boot stores. Yeah, I saw the one, boots. So mm. It was like, yeah. oh, this, mm. this is big business. And it's yeah. done so well. Like, we've increased it now to 800 boot stores. Come on. Um, wow, so, yeah. We That's did, uh, did that right. Shout out to you lot. Shout out to Crep Pound in revenue. Yeah. Um, we've increased How much revenue you say? Millions of pounds. Millions. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what it's worth yeah. right now? I mean, I saw I saw a sweet lot of one. Listen. Two years in a row. Two years in a row. Mother and baby. Yeah. crazy to start. Because obviously at the, at the time, there was another brand who was winning it like consistently. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. consistently, consistently, consistently. I read it in the article. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And then we came, we came launched and then in our first year, you won we, it. Won, we won it. Like, and, you won it. and it's like, that award is like the Grammys or the Oscars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we've won it twice that's in a row. Big. That's That's mad. It's like Do Krebs I... will come on the yeah. stage with his hair. <laughs> like, they, them people must be mad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They must be yeah. mad. Yeah. Black boy yeah. yeah. with his chain. Yeah. 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 Rapper as well. Like, yeah, the yeah. Rapper. Yeah. rappers created a baby, a baby brand, brand and it's successful. Not just, oh, let me just try and do something. Random, yeah, yeah, yeah. Successful. And it's actually like when you see, like when we see all the UGC content that we get from mothers, like, and obviously we're not saying that it kills X more nothing like that. That's one thing we don't say, but- You don't say it, but I've yeah, seen the yeah, pictures. I've seen the pictures. I've seen, I've seen the before. It definitely helps. Like it's, it's definitely helping. And like, when you see that, that's obviously one of the things I really like. When you see that, you're like, wow, like you're really making an impact. Like mm. that's, that's, that's where it goes back to like, you start thinking like, wow, like, some days like where it's hard, you just look at the Insta of Nardos or whatever and you'll see like a mum said, thank you so much for what helping for me. Like baby. I've tried everything. I tried steroids, I tried this. Mm. My doctor's giving me this. I tried Nardos baby and it's and it's helped my my little one's skin. You're like, wow. Like mm. that's that's one of the reasons why we started yeah. this yeah. business. Yeah. Wow. What would you do if uh, the big boys come knocking Jeez. to buy it? To buy you out? A business not <laughs> 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 No, I, like I said, when it comes to businesses, at the end of the day, you're creating something of value to to sell. I know yeah. some people say that's the, it's a um, dirty word, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like in business, in business, if you're creating value in the world and someone appreciates that value, it make and it makes sense that then, yeah. stakeholders think. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes it, it makes sense because obviously, like, and um, we're not shy about this. We've got investors, and investors have bought into it or invested in it. Okay, mm -hmm. make make things, but we don't want we don't want to get to a stage where we're selling it too quick. And we don't want to get to a stage where, and I know sometimes this is hard. We don't want to lose the magic that we have in our, of course, our brands. Yeah. But we understand that the big business boys happens. Needs yeah. to mature. I yeah. think yeah. one thing that I like about the way you lot did Nala's baby is you didn't sell it as a black owned business. Yeah, that was yeah. key. I feel yeah. like everyone goes to that when you're black owned yeah. and you have a business. Oh, support me! I'm black owned. Yeah. No, we want to support you because the product is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 It's not like it's, this is a this is a and that's one thing we had to make sure this is not a brand for black babies. Mm -hmm. This is a brand for everyone. everyone. Yes. The founders uh, are black, black, yeah. But this is for everyone, and you see it like so many different people. Like you imagine that like, some of the boot stores you have are on like Sheffield or mm. Nottingham or all of these wow. places. Yeah, where they might not even know who crept who crept it. Yeah. But because obviously people are talking in their mothers' chats, kind of thing. That they mums knit. Yeah. They even talk about mums knit. Yeah, no, because you gotta remember, yeah. Especially when it's like a condition. There's a condition, isn't it? And it's like there's a product. Mm. 
that helps that. Yeah. They don't care who who's yeah, made yeah, it. Yeah. It's about oh, oh that mum said yeah, it helps. Yeah. It helped my. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Then let's try I'm, it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go and buy out the store. It's, it's crazy, crazy man. Yeah, and no, I like I remember when I went to um a, a friend's friend's house um one time and obviously he didn't know what I did. And I went to the bathroom and I saw Nala's baby and she's Asian. I was like, what? Damn, that must be a good. Oh, I'm like, you know, I, you know what? I looked twice. <laughs> I was clean my ears like, bro. Like, yeah. oh, oh, or even like sick. when I go to boot sometimes and I see people looking at the thing, I'm like, I don't even say nothing. I'm just like, I'm in awe. Like, so I think that was an idea. Imagine an wow. idea in your head. Yeah, yeah. Fun. Cool. yeah. And that's the thing that's amazing where you see, even with Sips, I remember seeing the drawings from the beginning, all of that kind of thing. And now seeing it in, 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 in people's houses oh, that you yeah, know, all yeah, of yeah, yeah. Like we, we talk about stuff like that all the time because yeah. we always have to like, again, like this is something we started in a living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes we get invited to certain places and we're just there and we're looking around yeah. ourselves like, bro, how's it? Something that we just got together yeah. on an iPhone? Nah, no, do you know, no, the baddest time, I don't know if I even told you lot this, mm. I was coming home on the 53, bro. <laughs> I'll never yeah, forget yeah, it. Yeah, I was sitting yeah, on the, 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 the yeah, 63, but I was sitting yeah. top deck, yeah. second seat from the back. I remember the seat, yeah. you know? I'm not going to forget. I remember. I remember. I'm getting the bus. I got to the downstairs. In the bus. Oh, I just started. Where did you get the bus from? I got it from um, <laughs> okay, London, London Bridge. London Bridge. London Bridge. London Bridge. London Bridge. London Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a long yeah. ride. Yeah. I was coming up, I pressed the stop button. <laughs> yeah. I was walking. So you know the stairs is here? There's a seat next to the stairs. Yeah, yeah. How am I walking? And this girl is watching our episode with um uh what's in it? Asher Glean and no uh, and, and and John Wick. That's mad. No yeah. I was like to stop and say, yeah. thank you, Apple. Do you know it's what? Me. I looked bit, it wasn't a good hair yeah. So I just kept walking. But that was my thing that was like, yo, bro, it's, it's crazy. Mad, yeah. It's so crazy. Yeah, Great yeah, happening. Yeah. Literally just two days ago, I got people like saying to me, bro, what's going on? How have you not released any episode? Oh, I, I, I listened to you on the drive to work. Oh. I, 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 yeah, I, I, it so happened to me the other day when yeah. I went to Tasty, innit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was my local Tasty. Huh? And he's like, bro, I was getting food. And the guy, because obviously he's met me before, yeah. like, proper watches. He's like, bro, you know, ain't released it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? But I'm going to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, yeah. You know, but I love that. Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. makes you feel like this little thing. And then that's why we can resonate with what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Like, just, this man. little idea, you just start somewhere and where it could take you. It's mad, The possibility yeah. is mad. Like, something that in your head, imagine in your head. Yeah. Oh, God like, bless you. Musical. That's like, brilliant. Doing stuff. I'm it's proud mad. of you, bro, yeah, man. No, well, I'm, I'm proud, proud of you guys, man. man. No, nah, yeah. but doing your thing, man. Well, and you know, we, we, need, we need, we need investors. But the funny thing is, yeah, <laughs> David is, he's so humble. It's, it's, yeah. 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 I remember yeah. when I met him, it was, yeah. The Vamp Christmas. Yeah, because, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what, 20... 2021? 2021. 2021. Yeah, yeah. 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 so humble. He's too humble sometimes. Yeah, one of the coolest nah, people. Honestly, and you wouldn't even man. know. I remember when it was like, it was because I said to Uzi, yeah, there's like, it's like, oh yeah. And I was CEO that, mm. that, that, that. And Uzi was telling her, I was like, are you sure? And I was like, this guy's chatting to us like a And I like Googled it, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, no, 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 Yo, okay, I got, um, I read on one article you, you mm. got out um, on a place called Founders Hub. Okay, yeah. Right, it says, um, three things I wish I knew when I started. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? All right, cool. Know. There's one here, it says, um, the power of saying no. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Also, uh, it's one, you said that's one of the biggest lessons, mm. actually. Um, don't try and do everything. Focus on um, things that aligns with your goals and purpose. Mm -hmm. And also you have, don't let people, opportunities, or mishaps distract. Mm -hmm. So can you just expand on that? Like, why Why those three things? Yeah. The power of... I'm trying to learn from you, you help right us now. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> the I power of you. no is so, so important because... Yeah. Mm. Honestly, yeah, as soon as you, like, as soon as, like, as, 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 sorry, as soon as you, like, start to rise in terms of things, mm. you get so many opportunities. Yeah. So many opportunities. Hmm. Yeah. So many things you're like, oh, this is sick, I want to do this. This is sick, I want to do this. This is sick, I want to do this. <laughs> But I realized, yeah, I feel like those things are there to distract you mm. and take you away from what you're meant to do, innit? Yeah, yeah. So I'm so adamant. I tell everyone, like, people I work with, people I um, mentor or I do business with, I was like, sometimes you just have to say no. It might be the biggest opportunity, but that's going to take you away from 
like your like the main reason that you was meant to what mm. you meant to do kind of mm -hmm. thing. So saying no, saying no is important because it it focuses you on like what you need to do, mm -hmm. um, and it stops like all of the distraction. And some people just get angry, it's like oh this, but I'm like I'm just like no because if you're saying yes to something that you might not like in a, in at the end goal, you're saying no to something for yourself. Hmm. And that's what you always have to think about. You have to say like, is this gonna take me further than what I wanna do? do or is yeah. it gonna take me away from what I'm gonna do? Hmm. Because obviously there's so much distractions um, in the in the world. Hmm. Um, and the other one- You had, um, sorry, there was another one in terms of uh, focusing on, um, trying not to focus on everything. Focus yeah, on yeah, yeah, like me, like, I think like, and I'm speaking to a couple like entrepreneurs like this, like what is the biggest lesson you've learned to help build your build your companies? And the thing is team, like team is so important. Obviously I've seen that you've got a team now, which is sick and I, and I think people undervalue the importance of a team. If I didn't have the team I have, there's no Nala's baby, mm. there's no sips, there's no none of this thing. Like mm. you think I could do everything. Like, I mean, you look like you can. I want to have enough hours in a day. I'm not expert at everything. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm so, open to say like, I have blind spots. I'm not expert at everything. Like I need to bring experts in their chosen field to help mm. me build what we're yeah, building yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Mm. So having the right people and work with the right people and collaboration is so, so important. And building a team is so, so important. Like if you are building a business, I know you don't have, not everyone has the money, but my first thing would be like, make enough money so you can hire someone to help you. So you can focus on what you're good at and mm. deliver on that. And then you can pass on what you're not good at to someone else's someone expert. Else. And yeah, trust someone. me, it, I think, and that's why, and I think teams or companies fail or thrive based on the people they have in their team. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm so big on like culture in our in our in our in our in our team in CCV. Like culture is huge to me. Like it's the thing that runs through our veins, is the thing that um pe how people behave, is the thing how we do things, why we say no, how we conduct means, all of those kind of things. Like I think some people don't or underestimate the power of like culture in a team and to the point where like we've been working home or our team's been working home for a couple of weeks because obviously we had a miss up in our office mm. and everyone's like, oh, when can we go back to the office? When can we go back to the office? When can we go back to the office? Uh, and mm. the thing is like, I was like, raw, like don't people like work from home? Mm. Honestly, like, can we find another space just to work in the, in the office? Mm. And for me, it just like, raw, like, it shows that we've built like a good culture because people yeah. actually want to come into the office into the work, into and, the work. and yeah. see their friends. And because that's the mm. thing, obviously I know, because I like to, because I know a lot of companies say, Oh, we're a family and all that kind of thing. And I think the wrong thing, the the negative thing about saying your family is like, if your brother or your mum does something wrong, you you can forgive them, innit? You're mm. like, you know, it's my mum. Mm. Mm. In business, that can't always happen because yeah. you're giving you like, what mm. the hell? That's why I say like, we are a sports team. I like to say we are um, the Man United treble winning team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because everyone's there like fighting for each other. If you mess up, I'm like, bro, like what's happening? What are you doing? Like, mm. not to say that it's out of spite, but it's out of love. It's like, bro, you're better than this. You can do yeah. better. I want to encourage you to do better. Mm. Or it's like, we might be in hard times like Man United in Bayern Munich where they're losing one nil. <laughs> and then they managed to score two goals. <laughs> oh, oh this bro. Is no, but think about it. Imagine you're losing one nil and you're thinking like, yeah, the world's done. over, yeah. You want to be in trouble. Yeah. Everything's on it. And then for some way you lot win, like for win. me, that's mm. mad. And to have that mentality, like there's obviously times where things have gone bad for us, mm. but we've joined as a team, like, you know what? This is not going to break us. We're going to mm. get through it. And we've done like, crazy things in that thing. And that's why for me, it's like, I say we're like high performing, like sports team, um, rather than we're, we're a family because there's obviously when we win, all celebrate. Everyone celebrate. But if someone like messes up, whatever, we can have like a proper conversation and say, bro, like you're better than this. And they'll be like, you know what? Yeah, I effed up or I messed up. I can do better. And, and it's like, when you're in a winning kind of culture, you're like, I can't be the one who lets everyone down. Yeah, mm. yeah. I can't be that person. Yeah. I have to be that person that I need to raise my level kind of thing. And that's what I say to everyone like who hire, we're like, if you come to work with us, forget about all your companies, whatever. It's like you come into like, or sad to say it, but it's like you come into Man City now. Like if you come to Man City, like even Greenish, like he's the big boss in like, uh, well, uh, Villa, yeah. Yeah, when Villa. you come to Man City, like for the first few months, he was, he yeah. wasn't doing much. Yeah. Yeah. He to even go, now, yeah. he's just a normal player. When you come yeah. to us, like you have to step up. Like I want, I want you to do your best work here because if you do your best work, you're going to win the trophies. You're gonna come on. Stuff mm. like so that's why I told everyone like who comes to our team, like if you're coming here, mm. this is not for you to just sit around and 
do dilly dally. This is like, if you're coming here, you're going to try and do like your best work kind of thing. And the thing is, you're, when you do it, you're going to see the results of it. Like everyone who sees Sips or Nala's Baby or other brands we're doing, they're like, right, like I was working here, didn't really get much like value. I didn't feel like I had purpose. I'm here now and I feel like I got purpose. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So hmm. Yeah, man. And I've, I've been dope. there from yeah. proper office, man. It's got that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last so, time you yeah, said yeah. Yeah, you more stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we moved, we moved well, to a big office now. now. So it's like before we had like you it was that. like five hundred square feet. Now it's like five thousand. You're recruiting more. I said five hundred to yeah. five thousand. Come on, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Everything yeah. like double, yeah. double, 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 double. double. Huh? No, not fifty yet. Yeah. Almost, almost, almost. Like twenty in the moment. So yeah. 20, Are you hiring? Because this team this seems like me. it's a team yeah. I want to join. Yeah. Yeah. I asked for. I want a winning I team. Want, I I want want Listen, I'll even switch from Arsenal to Man United. Yeah. This guy. Um, one question I want to I ask: that. Has your race ever played a factor during your career? Have you ever like the fact that you're black? Has it ever like have you ever suffered from racism, prejudice, discrimination? The first thing I probably have, but when people say no to me, I don't think of race first, mm. and it could have been because of race. Mm. But I just think like I always because I'm very like self reflect. I always think, okay, cool, I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong? Like, how can I iterate to make it much better? Mm. Um, and that's my thought process and everything, because I feel like if you, one thing I heard from someone is like, you're in control of your life and everything that happens to you is because of you. Mm. So every, even if you don't think it's you, you have to just take the blame for everything. Mm. So for me, I never say that, oh, because I'm black, this person will give me this opportunity or because I'm black, I failed this, or because I'm black, whatever. I'm just like, you know what? Okay, cool. There's something that I've done wrong that I need to iterate or change. Like, what is it? Figure it out and then go back again. Or that thing wasn't right for that person. Mm. So I'm going to give it to, I'm going to ask someone else, mm -hmm. speak to someone else about, about doing it. So I haven't even thought of myself as just, I'm a black man and I've been raised. And I probably have, but I think because of my mindset that my race is not going to be the reason why you say, no, I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. It's just, you've missed out basically on work with me or the value I could provide it, I'm going to do it with someone else. And then luckily I've been like fortunate to to do what I've what I've done. And I think even when I told like my boys and friends and that, and they told me like, oh, I'm going through this at work and stuff like that. And like, I'm empathetic to that, but I'm like, never use your race as an excuse that why you haven't got to where you've got to, because there's so many black, especially now, so many black people who have done amazing things mm. um, that you can obviously look at in the UK now, which I'm so happy about that. You've seen so many like black entrepreneurs. Yeah. Black, even people who work and doing amazing things, like you're seeing a lot of these these black people do things and it's and it's motivating because like I said, when I was young, bro, the only people I saw were like Jay, like things on I saw on TV. Yeah, right now, Jay, yeah. I think that's why I'm so happy because I think our generation of kids, they're so lucky because I can call my boy and go, who acts at whatever Twitter or something like that. Oh my my my, my um my son needs uh into show a Twitter can mm. thing. Yeah. And he can do it. Or mm. even if my, my son plays football speak to my friend who's a scout, Arsenal, whatever, it's like, oh, can you get my thing in? And I like that, um, that there's so many black people that can, can do that, because yeah. our parents didn't. <laughs> and the thing is, like, we had no black, oh, Yeah, a lot of our white counterparts, they could just call their friend and they say, could. Like, yeah. the internship yeah. at that thing. The network you know I, mean? so, I feel like yeah. that's the difference, isn't it? With, yeah. a, with a, they stick like together, mm. and then they would help each other out, where I feel like we're not quite as there, yeah. which is why it's very important building that relationship yeah. and having that network. Now, that sounds amazing, man, and yeah, I totally no, agree I, with you. I, I do think that, the black people have that because we sometimes some of us have that scarcity muscle mod, scarcity model. Mm. Um, no, not case model, scarcity mindset mm. that only one of us can make it. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not at a time. yeah. Oh, but Crabs in bro, a barrel. especially the white people, they just realize like there's so much money in the world mm. and so much opportunities in the world. Mm. Like if I get this and I get this, like both we can win. And the thing is, if you're smart, if I help my boy out in, let's say for example, I was doing brand partnership and I see like a job at Adidas a brand manager at Adidas or whatever. Mm. I'm going to be like, oh, there's a brand manager job at Adidas. He worked there. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, bro, like I've got this campaign. I know you work at Adidas. He's going to think, oh, you got me the job. I'm going to help I'm you. Gonna have yeah. you yeah. That's, yeah. that's how yeah. I feel. Like, like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Put people in position. It's like ecosystem. Yeah. Dope. Because then you'll be like, oh, bro, I need this favor. And I've done that so many times where I put someone in a position or I've helped someone out somewhere. And I'm like, oh, bro, I need this thing. And they're like, oh, yeah, of course I've got you. And mm. that's happened, bro. So kind of like how you're on our podcast, so you might make us be in an advert for Sips. <laughs> you know that? Yeah. 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 Is it, it, it kind of yeah. like that? Yeah. Is it the same? Am I reaching? Am I reaching? You're not reaching. Right. 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 Oh, okay. okay. not reaching. Like, even like, well, obviously when we launch properly with Sips, like obviously we do the marketing campaign and we're obviously going to like work with like people like from the culture and stuff mm. like that. So yeah, man. 
But let's be real though, we, we, we've yeah. done our thing though, can't we? Yeah. We're the second people with sips on the, on the thing, yeah. brother. Come on, <laughs> come on. Hey, <laughs> come on. <laughs> we got our head on the thing. Come on, man. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I just had to bring it, man. I can't just leave you guys out, man. Can we see what it looks like? Can we see? Let me see it, man. I've been looking at that box for a bit. I like I didn't want to fucking I should have my open pause. Uh, so, oh, oh, yeah, pause. What? Pause. 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 This is like our pack that we send out to people, but it basically got like, uh, we've got three flavors at the moment. Yeah. Um, strawberry, lemon, and lime, and peach. Ooh, Ooh, I love, yeah. I love, I love, I love peach peaches, but no. Yeah. Yeah. I love peaches. peaches. Like, like peaches. I love you peaches. Can, yeah. Look what's going on here. Wow. I have to try and present it in the best possible way. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Let's, my team that will packaging hate me. looks. Oh, that's proper, yeah. man. Yeah. And I feel like it's very environmental. Yeah, very that's recyclable. Got the, um, yeah, 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 sure, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. Is it there in the shot, cameraman? Yeah, 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 wonderful, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, no, that so looks I, cool. I wanted you guys to taste it as well, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. appreciate that, man. Of course, yeah, I think no, I'll be taking 100%. the peach. Yeah. Oh, I like peaches. Oh, peaches. You also like peaches. It's one of each. It's one of each, so you can try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have people behind there. Look at him. 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 Why do you have to remind me that man? Okay, let me take a peach. We still got the guys behind there. I want the lime still. Oh, you want the lime? Yeah, I'm the... So my question is, yeah, you're working with celebrities, yeah? Yeah. You got H, you got H, sorry, H, uh, correct. I was like, Ich, Ich. Um, mm. Do you like, ever disagree? And is it awkward when you do? Because they're, 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 they're oh, probably like, bro. Is, this is beautiful. Oh, this is, this is I'm not, I'm not, not just on TV. I'm not just saying it because you're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This uh, is zero sugar, zero calories. Zero calories. Zero calories. I was going to save it for later, but I'll do it on yeah. camera so they don't think I'm lying. If you got sweet to strawberry, if you got like middle, yeah. This is water. Yeah, it's water. This that's is what everyone says. This yeah. is not water, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's water. Life tastes better with sips. Ah, sips. Oh, that is sick. Why didn't I figure that? That's mad. Life tastes better with sips. Uh, Don't take it too much. Just take a sip. Just uh, another sip. Yeah. 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 Don't take it to life. Even if you crash, you crash. <laughs> no, no, I love yeah. this, bro. Yeah. Thanks, bro. I want to savor it. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. I shouldn't have opened it. I know, because that. You're the one that. You don't give them money. Allegedly. <laughs> but yeah, do you ever disagree with the, the celebrity course, you work with? And how is it awkward? No, it's not awkward because like in any any kind of relationship, you mm. always have a conversation and it's an open conversation. Everyone says how they feel. Mm. And it's obviously the best. Like if you come to me and say your reason why, and I and we all together feel like it's the best, it's the best forward, yeah. then yeah. But I think with our service, one thing that they they do, and one thing we make sure is that they trust us and what we know. Mm. There are certain things that they might have an idea of what, it's like, but it isn't. And obviously we've got the expertise. And expertise the other way. Yeah. But I think you have to communicate these things with, with people because sometimes they don't understand yeah, like yeah. how things work. So you mm -hmm. have to over communicate and you can't just think, oh, they, they should know that, but mm. no, you have to over communicate. So, yeah. but it's like with any relationship, like obviously you can have arguments, you can have disagreements, someone wants to take it there, someone wants to take that, but nothing to the point where we're both in, at the end of the day, our goal is like, we want our brands to win. To win. Mm. Yeah. And we're like, okay, well let's have a conversation about about the thing. Thing. so yeah. yeah. But also I think like ultimately if you've actually shown them that no, nah, this is what we feel what we feel based on our expertise and wherever it is and they stand on point, mm. if whatever, if it doesn't go the way it's supposed to go, they can't also turn around and be like, so, Oh yeah. You yeah, guys yeah, did this yeah, and that yeah. because we did tell you. We you told know you. I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah. So and no. I think we we're, we're very um upfront and said this is not a client agency Kind of model. We're both mm. co-founders in My this partners. business, mm. and it's always is it going to be a roller coaster? There's going to be disagreements. There's going to mm. be oh, I think this or that. But we are both all understanding and wise to know. Okay, cool. How do we move forward to, for the betterment of the the brand? The brand. So, I love yeah. that. That's dope. And like, let's just say another celebrity came big. Yeah. I said I also want a water brand. Yeah. Would you no, take them on? Like conflict. And, yeah. And mm. they said no, no. I like what you did for my. I want <laughs> I it as well. It. Yeah. Yeah. Was it, was it a matter of using the same recipe, just different packaging, or we? No, 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 no. There's no way. Like mm. at the end of the day, there's no point of us cannibalizing mm. different brands. If we're gonna create another water, it has to be different. Different to, to that way you create. Or, it. it serves a different demographic. Mm. There's no point for us creating two sparkling fair waters for the same thing. For us, it doesn't. Like I said, there's no reason why we would do it. Like we're not like a merch company or a white label company where we're just like, okay, we've got formula for it. Let's create another yeah. one. Nah, no, that's that's, that's no crazy. Point, that's yeah. And I was gonna ask, based on that question, is also does that mean like your company, you guys are involved throughout the lifespan of the of yeah. that? 
product. Mm. Yeah, so we are. So how Forever. we work is obviously we work from ideation to launch, and then we um, work with the brand for like twelve to eighteen months. Just obviously that, and then we obviously start the brand starts getting its own team kind of thing because obviously because oh, of our okay. venture studio, mm. we obviously have multiple brands in our studio conceptualizing launching scaling etc you can't do that with so many brands i hear it um, yeah, and i think it's when, you, thinking, yeah. when you have a like when a brand has its own team it's focused on making sure that brand delivers on its different capabilities mm, okay so we have to make sure that we have the right team so there is a trans transition period where we work with like we get like a md or um a coo to obviously help in terms of like run that kind of things but mm. yeah it starts building its own team from there Ah, yeah. But you're still involved in a company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, still like, oh. we're still like we're still like partners. No, yeah, partners. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Yeah, but then it's just like team. minimal your involvement. Yeah, just kind of like now. Nah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. just like helping them where we where we where they feel we need our help or where we can. Yeah. Wow. And and you're still earning off of yeah. that. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. What, what, what do you think about influencer marketing? Are you a fan mm. of it? Mm. How, how do you, do you is that an avenue you use to market your product? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. influencer marketing. Some people don't like it. It's like a dirty yeah. word. Nah, influencer marketing is sick, <laughs> man. Because word. that guy that owns um, Mada Devoir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Man, I'm not yeah, shaming yeah. him at all or anything like that, but he's he. He hypes himself a lot in that in that aspect. Mm. There's no influencer marketing, no brand mm. outreach. Da, 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 da. Why is it such a dirty thing that people don't like to big up? Because I think it's influencer marketing has had. Um, a lot of negative press on it. Mm. Um, obviously fake, fake followers. Mm. Um, influencers not really getting engagement that they want to like for brands or brands overpaying for different like influencers stuff like that. But I think if you create the right strategy with influencers, it could be like a rem like remarkable. Like you've seen what's happened with um Gymshark and it's just many brands like with influencers mm. that it, it, it can work but I think my thing is is like what is your goal mm. and you don't always have to go with the influencers the biggest uh, way. or follow it even because, small ones we, have, yeah. we can do damage yeah no, because obviously <laughs> the good thing about smaller ones is that you have a niche yeah. and if you're trying to target a specific like um, demographic that big influencer might get loads of impressions, but it's not really going to influence the, the demographic. The, the demographic. So mm -hmm. that's why I said like micro influencers are as important as as um, the big influencers because I feel like well, obviously when you build a brand, it's, there's different like sales funnels in it, and especially when you're building a brand like Nala's Baby or other brands like in the in the personal beauty space, is that the first thing when someone wants to do your brand is like is do research in it. So the first thing you do is Google, or you might go on TikTok now, and you'll look at that brand, and you'll see like what all the influencers are doing. And if you've got loads of different micro influencers like promoting your brand and say, this brand is amazing. Mm -hmm. For some reason, you've got this thing as like, I trust this brand. But if there's like one big celebrity promo, you're like, oh, they probably got paid to do this. They got paid yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. So we try actually. to use like a waterfall effect where we use some big brand, some big influencers for mm -hmm. A certain uh, for a particular purpose, and then we use uh, micro influencers for a particular purpose because they're really good for like um, discovery and um, for helping that credibility as well. Mm. That's true. I feel like with Nala, the, you guys have hit like you struck on that one because like even when I go to booths, you go into stores, is on you know when oh, the, the display yeah. is with the quote unquote the Others. other yeah. ones for that it's yeah. right there yeah. and I just feel like it's not gonna go anywhere because of no. the purpose yeah. it serves that, that ain't going nowhere yeah. Yeah. I remember when we were at Meta the guy said they're moving on to um, advertisers are moving into influencers Influence, because yeah. people trust people yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Big. and that's why yeah. we use um, celebrities when we launch our brands because people trust people like with with Crept yeah one of the, mo the most amazing entrepreneurs and his story is like, not to say it's fake, his story is real, like true. Like he went through this issue. Yeah. And the things you can see the pain he, or the, the problem he had and created Nala's baby um, because of it. And mm. like I so said, people trust him because of mm. what he actually went through. Mm. And I think with any celebrities we work with, uh, well, you just like, I love it. I'm, I'm, you got here, innit? Hollow, it's finished. Yeah, it. like, Are you sure you man want one? Because I want to taste another flavour. Oh. Yeah, I know, but it's. Uh, <laughs> oh, do you man want some? <laughs> no, no, I said the man yeah, said. People, oh, people trust people, like yeah, people, people trust people. Yeah. Like even like you drinking that now. Now nah, people are yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna go, oh yeah, we're trusting you. Yeah, yeah. Being trusted. People are trusting you for drinking. I think it's nice. You're not just faking it. I'm really not faking it, especially the peach one, bro. I ain't tasted the others, but the peach. 
Which ones? Yeah, yeah, one. Okay, I know we got to wrap up in a minute, but I was just going to say, if you lot didn't have mm. any other questions. Nah, but no. listen, I've learned I'll, a lot. I'm not going to lie. Save, I've got yeah. a whole new motivation. Save. I'm going to start getting up very early now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read a lot more articles now. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. Like, listen, and also, I'm, one day, maybe we can also... Maybe one day. They can I start be, a brand for us. I want to be ready. Uh, they can I start a brand for us. I want to be ready. What What are we going to? What do you mean? Us. for their, Yeah, for uh, if their company created a brand for yeah. us. I, I'm not going to lie. I want, I want to go into, like, um, merch. No, not merch, because no. you already said merch. It, it, I think no, merch shows a because, purpose, though. So. No, yeah, it had a purpose. Is because for, for me, I'm, I've been heavy into that. I'm, I know me and, me and um, mm. we were talking about it, in terms of, like, with our brand. Like, I want our brand to be out there. Mm. And I want people to... I want people to see the oh the opinion like you know I want I want that brand I hear to, it. to be stuff. That's more thinking like a product, yeah. like, a product like chili though, sauce. Like I think chili shito would be good. Yeah, so, so, shito. That's what, was, yeah. What, you're saying, what you're saying? No, what he's saying is, is yeah, we're gonna do that though. No, it's calm, but I I, I, would, I don't think I would do that mm. if we're talking about partnering on a yeah. mad scale. I think chili sauce. So you want to do chili no, sauce? No, chili sauce. No, no, he doesn't have a real idea. That's it. It will be actually cool. chili sauce. Like, chili sauce. because you lot clown me for not for not being able to ha handle it. So that itself is a story. But you're not gonna be eating it. Mm -hmm. But I will because it's ours. Don't you get it? This is gonna make, make a chili. No, 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 no. So what he's saying is he's gonna make a specific chili yeah. that's nice but doesn't send you exactly. To... And then the story is real. It's legit. It's possible if we they create oh, knowledge, yeah. baby. What do you mean? Ah, this yeah. is what so you're so facing now. Ah, What's of his problem? It's possible. Ah, and because we've got a story behind it, it's easy for people to buy into it. Yeah. So wait, so you think you could? Do you know what I'll do? Yeah, go on. You guys, obviously this might not be the right idea. I would do a card game. A card game? Yeah, with your oh. dilemmas. Oh! So imagine, like obviously we're talking now, but imagine like you're with your boys or whatever, and there's obviously these mad cards with dilemmas. And with people like, dilemmas. like, what would you do? Like, it'll like come up, like, you'll see. And you can have like a, so now you have like a, a little, the main half yeah. of the thing where you can press now, and the answer to that dilemma would be recorded, pre-recorded. So whoever gave the closest answer to the thing, can we? Yeah, everyone yeah, else could be, drink. Yeah, I could be, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Banangi, can we? Now we're talking multi million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is what I'm saying. Right. Right. Because it's only. So how many people want to wear? Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> how many people want to walk around with IMO jumper <laughs> or IMO match? I, I, I know what you're saying because it depends on how you no, no, brand it, the quality, yeah, and all of that no, stuff. No, I know that's one thing here, yeah, but but I hear you. So, though, but you I hear you. Some people like, what? I, I have a podcast. What am I? But everybody will buy the card. Uh, card yeah. game. Because you know you know like, my so, thing is like no, that's true. on socials. Imagine like people are recording it and people come with mad answers. Like yeah, yeah. and then obviously that's gonna be right. What's this game? Like in my, and it's called it in my opinion, and that's a sick yeah. game. Yeah. That is a We're sick game. Now, this is going to come to life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, I'm, I'm so glad we said it on record. Yeah, yeah, so that we can come and try it. Coming on live. Yeah, so, no, yeah, no, last question before you go, and it's really good tying to what you just said. What advice, piece of advice, would you give to anyone that's trying to start a business? Mm. I think that if you want to start a business, you have to really dive dive deep in terms of like why you want to start a business. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. no point just starting a business because of money or you don't like your boss. Or clothing like yeah. Or you don't like your boss. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a very yeah. popular one. And I think it's like, what value do you want to bring to the world? Because mm. every business provides some sort of value. Um, and what, and how does that relate to like, what skill sets you, you, you have? Because yeah. mm. um, obviously there's a lot of things in the world that is, that is needed, but if you can provide value, um, if you can provide something that people need and as a as a good USP, you can create something that a lot of people would wanna would wanna would wanna use, man. And I think it's like mm. the the big thing I would say, like to grow your company, like whatever you do, you're good at, like try and monetize that, get to a certain stage. But the first thing I would do is hire, like if that's your first employee or whatever, like trust me, it helps so much to scale your business, man. Like I I can't even like underestimate like the amount of help or the reason why we're doing what we're doing without the team that we that we have here. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope. Mm. No, nah, bruv, I wish you were my mentor. Sorry, I, I'm telling you, <laughs> but now you're gems. I can hear him talk all day. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, yeah. with that yeah. deep voice. Sound like, 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 like Barry White. Yeah, yeah. Like audiobook. Yeah. like Barry White. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, before you go, what, is there anything coming out that you want to plug? Anything that people should look out for? So um, Sips is going to come in retail. Um, 
in end of this end of Jan. Oh, it's not Richard, so we're exclusive. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not Richard, so we're exclusive. Oh, he's a cat. This guy's been struggling with that all day. I'm asked, bro. So we're getting four chunks and fillies. I am surprised. I am surprised. You're doing your thing, man. Let me oversee. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling yeah, you. So it's coming in retail. So by end of Jan. Um, yeah. and then we've got more products coming out soon. So okay. Yeah. Look out for that. And do you want people to follow you or anything? Yeah, follow yeah. me. Um, on Instagram it's D Olu Sagan or Olu Shagun. Mm. Yeah. Don't do that. No, but I like what he's doing. I like what he's doing. He's, 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 yeah, yeah, he's yeah. being, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, I like the balance. Instagram and then Twitter, it's DF Olishogun. Um, and then um, LinkedIn, it's D Olishogun. Yeah. Praise God. Nah, man. Nah, it's been, it's been a dope, dope. episode. Nah, thank you, thank you for dropping your gems. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being so involved in a dilemma, the games. We appreciate Crazy that. Crazy dilemma, <laughs> man. That's what I'm thinking. The card game will be sick because I can see you playing like, on Christmas or even like games now and stuff like that, man. Wow. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it has it, to happen. It's not even gone, It has to happen. It has to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to be yeah, on yeah. our Netflix documentary. Because these men, these people, they're not cheap. And we'll come. Amen. Once the idea comes, everything else will fall into place. And the thing is, like I said, the good thing about it is like they don't even have to know it's you. Like even America or Africa, or whatever, yeah. they'll don't just see it. the game somewhere and go, "This game is like interesting. Mm. It's pro it's provocative." Yeah. It's and it gets the people going. Going. Yeah. Yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. 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 you're right because yeah. real quick at our live show, shout out BB Agent Podcast Agency, we had a dilemma and everybody I heard on tables was yeah. Yeah. debating. Yeah. Everyone, so like, imagine that like Christmas. Just, no, you're, you're there, no. He wasn't there. No, he no, wasn't there. He wasn't there. He's, this man was on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but enjoy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've been in my opinion podcast. Make sure you comment, subscribe, like. If you want to reach out, I don't know. The way he reached out to his mentor, maybe <laughs> you can also reach out. Yeah. I don't know, innit? But drop what you think in the comments. Uh, we are everywhere. Where are Guess we back? Yeah. We are back. We are back. Yeah. We are back. I'm back sorry. Like we never left. We are sorry mm. for the wait about Nanga. Yeah. Um, but yeah, expect more from us this year. Please be supporting. Thank you for all the support you gave us in 2023. Banang, it was amazing. <laughs> the followers, was great, the man. likes, yeah. the views. We appreciate Last you. It was great. Yeah. Watch well, out. This Watch this space. Watch this space. 100%, We're doing great, big yeah. things. Till next time. Peace. Peace. Thanks for listening to the In My Opinion podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Until next time. Peace.